Hello and welcome back to another step-by-step -step online safety video tutorial with me, Wayne. Now, in today's video, we're taking a look at popular gaming platform Roblox, specifically shining the spotlight into the parental controls. And in this video, you're going to learn how to find the parental controls on Roblox, how to enable the parental pin, and also how to fine tune some of the communication and privacy settings on your young person's Roblox account. Now, as always, you're gonna be able to follow along on screen, and if there's something that you would like me to cover in an upcoming video, please do reach out and get in touch. Now, I am a big fan of parental controls in general, because it does give us parents visibility into what's happening on a particular game or social media app that our young person is using but it also does help contribute towards a safer experience for your young person while playing that game or indeed using that social media app or platform. So let's jump right in and take a look at how we find the parental controls on Roblox. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is go to the top right hand side of the screen and you're gonna click on the little cog wheel and then you're simply gonna drop down and click on settings. Now this is going to take you into the settings page on your young person's Roblox account. And there are a couple of things that I do wanna draw your attention to on this page. The first one is the email address that has been set up on the account. It's vital and important that this email address is your email address as a parent or caregiver. And if it's not currently, you're gonna to wanna to change that because there will be some confirmation codes and some updates that are going to be sent through to the email address and you need to be able to access those. So if you wanna make that change, you're simply just gonna click on this little option. You're gonna get a pop-up on screen and it's gonna ask you to enter the email address that you would like to make active on the account and the other email address, once verified, will be removed from the account. So once you have that done, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to scroll to the bottom of the page and you're gonna take a look at the visible to option. And this is the Roblox profile. Who is it visible to? And there are a couple of options. You can see this account by default is set to everyone. So that means that anyone can see the profile page on Roblox. So we're gonna to wanna to change that for the purpose of this demonstration to no one. Now you may want to set that to friends and we'll talk a little bit about friends a little bit later on. We're gonna click save. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll back up the page. We're gonna click on the left hand side this time and we're gonna be looking for parental controls. Now, there's a few things that we do need to change on this particular page. The first one is we want to activate the parental pin. And it's important that we activate the parental pin because any changes that we then subsequently make to the Roblox account cannot be undone without the pin. Now, I don't recommend you use the same pin number that you might use for your phone because if it's anything like the teenagers in my house, they already know what that pin number is and that's the first pin number they're gonna try if they wanna make any changes. So let's go right ahead and toggle on. It's gonna ask us to enter a four digit pin code. We're gonna click and enter. We're gonna confirm and we're gonna click add. Now you will get another pop-up which will appear on screen and what that means is a confirmation code has just been sent to your email address and you need to enter that on screen. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just gonna choose my password and I'm going to enter the password and we're gonna click verify. And what that will do now is that will activate the parental pin. So any changes now that need to be made so the Roblox account will require that four digit pin code. So the next thing we're gonna look at is allowed experiences. And there are a couple of options here. You can see 13 plus, nine plus are all ages. You can see by default, it's set to all ages. So I'm gonna change that to nine plus. Again, it's going to ask me for the pin number. I'm gonna enter the pin and I'm gonna click unlock. And we can now see that that setting has been successfully saved. Now, I wanna draw your attention to the top of the screen here. Over at this side, you can see time remaining. We can see four minutes and 47 seconds. So that means that after that time has elapsed, the parental controls will automatically lock. Now, if your phone rings or you do need to leave the screen, I would recommend that you do, in fact, lock the account. And you can do that by simply just clicking on the little lock 
and that will lock the settings. So no further changes can be made until the four digit pin code is entered. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to privacy, the left hand side of the screen again, and we're gonna click on that, and that's going to take us into the privacy settings on the account. Now, in order to make some changes here, we make sure we unlock our account. We enter our four digit pin again and unlock. And now we can go ahead and we can fine tune some of the privacy and the communication settings. Now, if you scroll down, we can see you've got a couple of options in relation to text chat here while playing a game. You can change that to no one or friends. If you want to know a little bit more information about it, you can click on the little option where the question mark is and it'll explain it a little bit further for you. We're going to scroll on down. You've also got camera input. If you want to disable that, you can see it's disabled by default on this account, but you can also activate that if you wish. And then we're going to scroll on down and we're going to take a look at the private server options. And again, these are mostly related to subscription based. So again, it's important to keep that in mind. Some of the games on Roblox require a subscription, credit or debit card. And it's really important that you're aware of that. And I would recommend that you disable the credit card or the debit card on the account when it's not in use. And you have a couple of options again in relation to the settings that you can apply for those different types of experiences, okay? So you can change those accordingly based on your young person. Now, we do have an option here for friends and sometimes children and young people do play games with their friends online. It's important to understand the difference between real world friends and virtual friends. And I do recommend that they only play games with people they know in the real world. So again, if they've got an older brother, a cousin, a family member that they like to play Roblox with, it's important that you as a parent add those to that approved friends list on Roblox. So that's a quick overview on some of the communication and privacy settings on Roblox. Again, make sure before you log out of the Roblox account, you go to the top, again and you click on the little lock and that will lock the account so that no further changes can be made as always i hope you found this video today useful don't forget to reach out and get in touch and i'll see you next time around